So this is uh, one of the other questions that we did using polynomial long division. We know that this isn't a factor of this, right? So if it's not a factor, you know, we're going to have to either use, you know, if they ask us to do this, we're going to have to either use polynomial long division, which we've already done, right? But synthetic long division is a lot easier, so we're going to end up using synthetic long division. So you have two videos where you're going to have polynomial long division, synthetic division, and you can compare them, and it's your choice which one you want to do, but synthetic division is a lot easier. Uh, so hopefully you choose that one. Okay, so let's lay this out in the synthetic division form and just go ahead and do it, okay? So what we have is, you know, x is equal to negative 2, which basically means x plus 2, right? And we took our numbers, our coefficients, and we put them up top here. So what we're going to do is take the negative 3, bring it down. Here, negative 3 times negative 2 is going to come up here. Negative 3 times negative 2 is going to be 6, right? And then 5 plus 6 is going to be 11. So we're going to take the 11, take the negative 2. Negative 2 times 11 is just going to come up there, and that's going to be... Uh, negative 22 and negative 22 plus 2 is just going to be negative 20 which is exactly the same result we got when we did the polynomial long division right so at the bottom here we're just going to have whatever's left over right So what we end up having is negative 3 comes down, you know, go through the whole routine and you end up with negative 3 down here, 11 down here, and negative 20 down here, which is exactly what we ended up having when we did polynomial long division. If you're going to write this out in its factored form, it's not a factor really, if you're going to write this out in its, you know, one, one x term taking, taken out of the numerator because you took an x to the power of 2, divided it by an x, which means x squared is going to be kick down to an x term, right? So this means that it's negative x plus 11, which is what we got here, and a remainder of negative 20. So if you substitute in x is equal to negative 2 in the top polynomial here, if you substitute in x is equal to negative 2 in the top polynomial here, what you end up with is negative 20, which is your y coordinate. So if x is equal to negative 2 in this function, y is equal to negative 20, which is just a coordinate. And if x is equal to, again, this one you can rewrite as negative 11 comes over, divide by negative 3. So it becomes uh, 11 over 3. So if you sub in 11 over 3 into this polynomial as well, what you end up is your y coordinate is negative 20. So that's another coordinate where y is neg negative 20, right? So again, synthetic long division, you go through the whole thing, kick it down, and you know, this is what you end up with. What we're going to end up doing is doing a few more examples where, you know, we have, uh, uh, you know, higher orders, higher powers than x to the power of 2, and we're going to have missing terms in there. So we're going to start off, you know, just kick it up a notch and take it x to the power of 3 with, you know, missing terms and do that one. And then from there, we're going to do, you know, a higher order. And hopefully, by the time we get to the, lar to the, to the large one, uh, this process makes sense to you and you realize how, you know, you appreciate uh, the simplicity of it as compared to long division. Uh, there's another skater here. I'm going to find out if I need to get out of here. Uh, we'll find out. Be back. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good, good, good. You going to use this one or that guy? Yeah, here. Here? Okay. Awesome. I'll kick it over to the other one. You, are you okay with me taping you as well? Sure. Okay, Let's sweet. Here 10 minutes.